I want to thank God so much for this opportunity. My name is Reverend Canon Alice Wataka. I serve in St. Andrews Cathedral, and that's where I fellowship from. And today we want to share from Matthew chapter 7, from verse, verse 7 to 12. Matthew chapter 7, from verse 7 to 12. And it reads, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For every one who asks receives, he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks the door will be opened. Which of you, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give a snake? If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? So in everything, do others what you would have them to do to you. For this sums up the law and the prophets. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you, Lord, that you can give us an opportunity of sharing your word with others. And Lord, we pray that you teach us to depend on you because you are a dependable God. And out of what we are sharing, O oh God, I pray that your Holy Spirit will inspire us to depend on you through prayer and not to get tired, O oh God. We thank you because you can remind us when we are lazy and we pick up from wherever we are, have fallen. We give you honor and glory. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Uh, I want us to share from the passage that I've just read, Matthew chapter 7 from verse 7 to 12. By the way, when we look at this passage, Jesus is teaching his listeners to ask, to seek, and to knock. And uh, according to what I see here, it is like, Jesus is reminding people to do what they were supposed to do. But previously, I think they had taken things for granted. So when Jesus was talking to his listeners, he's just reminding them to do what they are expected to do. Now, when we look at this passage, Jesus is teaching, and he says that we should ask. If you ask, definitely will be given. So it is like when Jesus was looking at his listeners, he had seen them not taking the opportunity of making the opportunity of asking God for what they needed. And he was reminding them to know that when you ask, you can be given. And he also told them that you must seek. And when you seek, of course what you seek will be found. And seeking means taking a deliberate effort to look for something that you want to get. And definitely when you get it, you can get excited. Another thing that he's talking about, he's talking about knocking. And he says, when you knock, the door will be opened. So according to what we are seeing today, we are looking at God as a dependable God. And Jesus wanted to teach people to know that if we can depend on human beings who are limited and they can provide for us good things, what about the God that we serve? And this God is a dependable one. Even during this time when people have locked themselves in houses of prayer, they want to pray from their own homes because of what has happened. But we want to say that God is still on his throne. And therefore when Jesus teaches us, to ask, to seek, and to knock. It is all summarized like he's talking about a prayer. But remember, the world is full of confusion. Bad news, the world has bad news every time. The world is chaotic. The world is so restless. But the Bible teaches us in Psalm 46, chapter 46, verse 1, the Bible says that God is our ever-present help in trouble. Even during this time when COVID-19 has silenced many people, we look like we don't know which way to take. Jesus is still on the throne. And we need to depend on God because he's our source of refuge and ever-present help in the time of trouble, like sickness or maybe where there is poverty, the Lord is always there. And at the same time, we see God as a God of uh, provision. God is our source of provision. Because we give glory to God if we need whatever we need from him. If we need whatever we need, the Lord is faithful. He can provide for us. That's why he's encouraging us to ask him and he can provide for us. And uh, this also makes me to look at Psalm chapter 62 from verse 1 to 2. 
Psalm chapter 62 from verse 1 to 2, the Bible talks about the soul finding rest in God. And actually here the psalmist, David said that my soul finds rest in God alone. My salvation comes from him. So God is so faithful that everyone knows that when we are troubled, we find the refuge, we find the peace in the Lord. And even in Psalm 116, verse 7, the Bible says that be at rest once more, O my soul, for the Lord has been good to you. So when we reflect on the goodness of the Lord, you just know that God is faithful, God is good. Why haven't you and me died of corona? It is true there are so many challenges around, but the Lord has proved it to be very faithful. And therefore, let us encourage one another to know that we need to be reminded. Jesus reminded his listeners that they needed to ask, they needed to seek, they needed to knock. And this is now our time of saying that it is high time we depend on God more and more. I said that when we look at this, it is like, it is like a summary of prayer. And I was also looking at what, why should we pray, actually? Why should we pray? Why should we concentrate on prayer without even depending on other people? Prayer is very important because it helps us to escape from what other people are passing through. And we find that in Luke chapter 21, verse 36. The Bible says that watch and pray always to escape what is about to happen. What is that? which is about to happen. People have had challenges everywhere, but the Lord wants us to pray so that we can escape those challenges. Even Corona, amid this of Corona, the Lord has been faithful, so we need to pray. Another thing that I also look at, why should we pray? We pray so that we don't fall into temptation. Matthew chapter 26, verse 41. Matthew 26, verse 41. People pray so that they don't fall into temptation and the Lord is the one who taught us about that. We have temptations of grumbling at this time so we pray that God will help us to be focused to know that we serve a dependable God. Another thing that we also need to look at is we need to pray for the workers because there are few and we find that in Luke chapter 10 verse 2. Can you be, can you be part of those workers if there are few, can you please be uh, can you please be part of them? Because God encourages us to pray for those who are ministering to the lost souls. I pray that you become part of them, and also we pray for those in authority. We pray in authority uh, for those in authority so that we may live in peace. That is a challenge to us all. First Timothy chapter two, from verse one to two, we pray for those in authority because they are the ones who make decisions which can make us either happy or sad. And finally, we pray for our enemies. That is in Luke chapter 6, verse 28. God is a dependable God. When we pray, he says that he can protect us against all harm. And it is all about prayer. We pray that during this time, when we are having challenges of COVID, prayer is very important and we have been reminded to ask, to seek, and to knock, because God is a dependable God, and he will always take care of our lives. I wish you well, and let us be part of good news in this world. May the good Lord continue to bless you.